Hello everybody, JC here from JC Inspired. How are you guys all doing? So I want to welcome you guys back to my channel and today is dedicated to understanding the basics of the weight system call in our endeavor to build our own simple shell. Now if this sounds strange to you, um, not to worry, I have videos linked in the cards and the description below that um, provides prerequisite knowledge that you would need to understand everything we'll be doing right here today. So um, go ahead, check them out, watch them, internalize them and then come back and watch this. All right then, so without further ado, let's just get started. All right, guys. So in order to understand weights, I'm going to first of all introduce the concept of the zombie process, which I told you guys about. So um, I've seen how the weight system call is able to handle the issue of the zombie process would help us appreciate why we're actually doing this in the first place. So to get started, I'm going to open up this file with .c. Okay guys, so right now I just have a very simple program that just creates a child process and does some basic checks on it to know if you're in the parent, if you're in the child or if it's successful, like what you see right here. If you recall from our previous video, we talked about the orphan process and it was such that in the orphan process, the parent terminates while the child is still executing. Okay, so and to do that, we actually put a sleep system call in the child. So while the child was sleeping, the parent executed and terminated. And then the child became an orphan and was adopted by the init process until it terminated. Right now, what will happen if the parents or if the child right now terminates before the parents? Okay, so um, in the orphan process, let me just show you a little comparison. In the orphan process, parent terminates before the child process. But in the zombie process, the, the child terminates before the parent process and to just um, explain this right here in code i'm going to put a sleep system call of like say 30 seconds right here and this would imply that um if the parent is executing and he meets this sleep he's going to go to sleep for 30 seconds he's going to give the child the opportunity to execute and print out child process on our seminar and then after 30 seconds he's going to print out parent process but the the punchline is that the child terminates while the parent is asleep okay so what will happen if you have such a condition right now so let me just run this enter so child process has been printed out to the terminal so the child process right now has terminated that's why i have this printed out right here to the terminal but the parent is still um is still executing or is still asleep so let's just type in this command right now and observe what's happening PSAUX. let's filter out all the um, processes that have weights in it so guys look what look at what's happening right here the first row gives us okay so the parent right now has terminated so while the parent was still executing you realize that it was in the process table so the first row was for the parents the second row right here um, is for the child and if you realize the child actually has a state of z okay so the plus just gives some some added information but for now focus on the z so z actually stands for zombie okay so it actually starts for zombie so when the child terminated it became a zombie because usually what happens is that um, when a child terminates the parent is the one that rips that child from the process table but since the parents were still executing he couldn't rip it out from the process table so it became a zombie and why is this zombie process undesirable in our in our programs It's because our process table actually has finite entries so let me just show you guys a little documentation right here um there's actually one process table per system and the size of the process table is finite so if too many zombie processes so just in case you guys you know if um if too many zombie processes are generated then the process table will be full all right so that is the system will not be able to generate any new process then the system will come to a standstill hence we need to prevent the creation of zombie processes so those zombie processes just fill up your process table such that if you have them much in your process table and you want to actually create more useful processes because of the space that the zombie process has been able to occupy, you will not be able to create new processes. So that's why we actually have to um, prevent the creation of zombie processes. And one way to do that is to use the weight system call. 
All right then, so let's make more progress. So I'm going to open up the man pages right now. Let's explore how the weight system call works. So first things first, we have a bunch of other variants of the weight system call, which is the weight PID and the weight ID, but we're going to be considering with this for now. So we are keeping it as simple as possible. But what they all do is that they wait for a process, a child process to change states. Now, if this sounds a little bit strange to you, check this out right here. It says a state change is considered. So this is where I'm actually reading from. A state change is considered to be either of these three things. So number one is the child terminated. So the child terminates. That um, can refer to what it, to a to a change in the state of the child. The second thing is the child was stopped by signal. So this is another one. The third one is or the child was resumed by signal so basically what the weight system call does is that it's going to wait until either of these three things or any of these three things happens to the child and it says in the case of a terminated child which is what we are working with right now performing a weight allows the system to release the resources associated with the child now if the weight is not performed then the child remains in a zombie state okay so this is actually what we are trying to prevent our child processes remaining in zombie state so let me just head over right here and edit this file or this program to illustrate what i'm talking about so let's hit enter and um okay so everything looks good um for starters make sure you include the right header files right here so um i have this sys types as h already i need to include this sys um with h so i'm just going to do that right now so there it is the next thing I want to do is that I want to um, actually put in my weight system code. And um, let me just ask you guys, where do you think it would be? Should I put it in the weight system code? Should I put it in the parent or in the child? Um, if you actually guess the parent, or if you say the parents, you actually got it right because you put the weight system code inside the parent. So what you want to do is that you want to make sure that the parent process waits until the child process changes its state so in our case the child process will terminate and it will return a, a signal back to the parents okay and then the parents will rip that child process off the process table so the implication is that while the child process terminates there is no zombie process at any point inside our entry table so it rips it immediately using this weight system call so i'm going to prove it to you right now the other thing i want you guys to take note of is that the weight system call usually, if you check out the synopsis, the syntax right here, you're seeing that the parameter is actually a pointer to an integer that stores um, some vital information about the child process that changed its states. But just in case you're not so interested about that status, you can put in right here as a parameter null. So in our case, we are not so interested about that. What we just want to show is that this weight system call will cause our parent process to rip the terminated zombie process from the process table while this guy is still executing. Okay, so that's basically what would happen. So uh, I'm just going to save this right now. So save. And then let me close this right here. All right, guys. So let's go over this slowly. What we're expecting is that because of the weight system call right now, if I run this code, okay um and the child process terminates while the parent is still executing a zombie process would not be created in between so i'm just going to hit enter right now and prove it to you so hit enter so child process has terminated that's why you have this guy printed out on the terminal let me run this same command right here i'm just going to hit enter and then realize that i do not have a zombie process in my process table unlike in, like previously when we ran this same command and um, while the parents were still executing and we had a zombie process but right now because of the weight system call you realize that i've been able to prevent the the creation of of a zombie process so yeah basically this is how um the weight system call works there are a bunch of things which um we aren't said but for starters i think um, this knowledge is good enough. So what it does is that it helps amongst a variety of things, help prevent um, the creation of zombie processes in your process table, thereby always freeing your process table for more processes to be created. Okay, so that's it um, concerning the weight system call. Subsequently, we're going to be talking about 
other things like the status and other things or macros that you need to extract information from it and probably the weights PID but for now I think this is good enough um, if you enjoy this as usual give it a like um, if you're new here you may also want to consider subscribing so you get up to date with the videos which I'll be uploading and um, that's it from me for now I'll see you in the next one